The PlayStation Portable PSP is a handheld game console developed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It primarily competed with the Nintendo DS, as part of the seventh generation of video game consoles. Development of the handheld was announced during E3 2003, and it was unveiled on May 11, 2004, at a Sony press conference before the next E3. The system was released in Japan on December 12, 2004, in North America on March 24, 2005, and in the PAL region on September 1, 2005. The PlayStation Portable was the most powerful portable console when launched, even more powerful than the Nintendo DS. It was the first real competitor to Nintendo's handheld domination, where many challengers, like SNK's Neo Geo Pocket and Nokia's N-Gage, had failed. Its high-end graphics made the PlayStation Portable a major mobile entertainment device. It also features connectivity with the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Windows, Mac, other PSPs and the Internet. It is the only handheld console to use an optical disc format, Universal Media Disc UMD, as its primary storage medium. The PlayStation Portable was met with positive reception as most video game critics gave the PlayStation Portable positive reviews. The PlayStation Portable sold 76 million units as of 2012. Several different models were released. The PSP line was succeeded by the PlayStation Vita, released in December 2011 in Japan, and in February 2012 worldwide. The Vita features backward compatibility with many PlayStation Portable games digitally released on the PlayStation Network, via the PlayStation Store. This is the primary method to purchase PlayStation Portable games digitally after Sony shut down access to the PlayStation Store via PSP on March 31, 2016. Hardware shipments ended worldwide throughout 2014, with the PSP having sold 80 million units in its 10-year lifetime. Production of UMDs ended with the closure of the last Japanese factory in late 2016. History Sony Computer Entertainment first announced development of the PlayStation Portable at a press conference before E3 2003. Although mock-ups were not presented, Sony did release extensive technical details. CEO Jose Villeda called the device the Walkman of the 21st century, in a reference to the console's multimedia capabilities. Several gaming websites were impressed by the handheld's computing capabilities and looked forward to its potential as a gaming platform. Nintendo had been dominating the handheld market since launching its Game Boy in 1989, with only close competition from Sega's Game Gear (1990 to 1997) and Bandai's Wonderswan (1999 to 2003) in Japan. In January 1999, Sony had released the briefly successful Pocket Station in Japan as its first foray into the handheld gaming market. The SNK Neo Geo Pocket and Nokia's N-Gage also failed to cut into Nintendo's share. The PSP was called the first legitimate competitor to Nintendo's dominance in the handheld market. By an IDC analyst in 2004, the first concept images of the PSP appeared in November 2003 at the Sony Corporate Strategy Meeting and showed it with flat buttons and no analog joystick. Although some expressed concern over the lack of an analog stick, these fears were allayed when the PSP was officially unveiled at the Sony press conference during E3 2004. Sony released a list of 99 developer companies that pledged support for the new handheld. Several game demos, such as Konami's Metal Gear Acid and SCE Studio Liverpool's Wipeout Pure, were also shown at the conference. Topic. Launch On October 17, 2004, Sony announced that the PSP base model would launch in Japan on December 12 for 19,800 yen, about $181 in 2004, while the value system would launch for 24,800 yen, about $226. The launch was a success with over 200,000 units sold the first day. Color variations were sold in bundle packs which cost more than usual, around $200. Sony announced on February 3, 2005, that the PSP would go on sale in North America on March 24, in one configuration for an MSRP of $249 per $299. 
Some expressed concern over the high price, which was almost $20 higher than the Japanese model and more than $100 higher than the Nintendo DS. Despite the concerns, the PSP's North American launch was a success. Sony claimed that 500,000 units had been sold in the first two days, though it was also reported that this was below expectations. The PSP was originally to have a simultaneous PAL region and North American launch, but on March 15, 2005, Sony announced that the PAL region launch would be delayed because of high demand for the console in Japan and North America. The next month it announced that the PSP would launch in the PAL region on September 1st for €249 Euros per £179. Sony defended the high price by pointing out that North American consumers had to pay local sales taxes and that the VAT sales tax was higher in the UK than the US. Despite the high price, the console's PAL region launch was a resounding success, selling more than 185,000 units in the UK. The PSP sold out of all stock nationwide in the UK within three hours of launch, more than doubling the previous first day sales record of 87,000 units set by the Nintendo DS. The system also enjoyed great success in other areas of the PAL region, with more than 25,000 units pre-ordered in Australia and nearly 1 million units sold across Europe in the first week. Models Designs Topic PSP 2000 The PSP 2000 marketed in PAL areas as PSP Slim and Light is the first redesign of the PlayStation Portable. At E3 2007, Sony released information about a slimmer and lighter version. It was released on August 30 in Hong Kong, September 5 in Europe, September 6 in North America, September 7 in South Korea and September 12 in Australia. The PSP 2000 system is 19% thinner and 33% lighter than the original PSP, reduced from 0.91 to 0.73 inches 23 to 18.6 millimeters and from 9.87 to 6.66 ounces 280 to 189 grams. Internal changes to achieve this include the removal of a metal chassis which protected against fall damage. The serial port was modified in order to accommodate a new video out feature rendering older PSP remote controls incompatible. On the PSP 2000, games will only output to external monitors or TVs in progressive scan mode, non-game video outputs work in either progressive or interlaced mode, USB charging was made possible, and the D-pad was raised in response to complaints of poor performance, while buttons offer improved responsiveness. A new simpler and more compact UMD loading tray design was developed, in which the tray swivels out instead of opening up completely, while the Wi-Fi switch was moved to the top of the device. To address many consumer complaints about the memory stick door breaking off the old PSP, it was relocated and redesigned. The speakers were repositioned on the front of the PSP near the top of the screen. The infrared port was removed because it offered no use to the original PSP generation other than in homebrew applications. The analog stick was redesigned to be more flexible and is not removable without opening the PSP. The air vent at the top of the original was also removed. Other changes include improved WLAN modules and microcontroller, and a thinner and much brighter LCD. To improve the original PSP's poor load times of UMD games, the internal memory RAM and flash ROM was doubled from 32 MB to 64 MB, with a part of it now acting as a cache, also improving the web browser's performance. Topic PSP 3000 In comparison to the PSP 2000, the 3000 marketed in PAL areas as PSP Slim and Light or PSP Bright has an improved LCD screen featuring an increased color range, five times the contrast ratio, half the pixel response time, new sub-pixel structure, and anti-reflective technology to reduce outdoor glare. The disc tray, logos and buttons were all redesigned and the system now has a microphone. In addition, all games may now be output by component or composite using the video out cable. Some outlets called this a minor upgrade. The PSP 3000 was released on October 14, 2008, in North America, October 16 in Japan, October 17 in Europe, October 23 in Australia. 
In its first four days on sale in Japan, the PSP 3000 sold 141,270 units, according to Famitsu. It sold 267,000 units throughout October. On release, an issue with interlacing was noticed on the PSP 3000 screen when objects were in motion. Sony announced that it would not be fixed. Topic: <laughs> PSP Go N1000. The PSP Go model PSP N1000 was released on October 1, 2009, in North American and European territories, and on November 1 in Japan. It was revealed prior to E3 2009 through Sony's Core VOD service. Its design is significantly different from other PSPs, the unit is 43% lighter and 56% smaller than the original PSP 1000, and 16% lighter and 35% smaller than the PSP 3000. Its rechargeable battery is not intended to be removable by the user. It has a 3.8-inch 480x272 pixel LCD screen The screen slides up to reveal the main controls. The overall shape and sliding mechanism are similar to that of Sony's Milo.com 2 internet device. The PSP Go features 802.11b Wi-Fi like its predecessors, but replaced its USB port with a proprietary connector. A compatible cable that connects to other devices' USB ports is included with the unit. The new multi-use connector allows for video and sound output with the same connector using an optional composite or component AV cable. Sony also offers a cradle PSPN 340 for charging, video out and USB data transfer on the PSP Go, similar to previous offerings. The PSP Go adds support for Bluetooth connectivity, which enables playing games using a 6-axis or DualShock 3 PlayStation 3 controller. The use of the cradle along with the controller allow players to use the PSP Go as a portable device and as a console, although the output is not upscaled. PlayStation 1 games can be played in full screen using the AV, component cable or cradle. The PSP Go lacks a UMD drive, but instead has 16GB of internal flash memory. This can be extended by up to 32GB with the use of a memory stick micro M2. Games must be downloaded from the PlayStation Store. A demo version of Patapon 2 comes loaded onto the system. The removal of the UMD drive effectively region locks the unit due because it must be linked to a single region locked PlayStation Network account. The PSP Go can directly download to itself, or users can also download then transfer games from a PlayStation 3 or the Windows-based MediaGo software. All downloadable PSP and PlayStation games available for older PSP models are compatible with the PSP Go. Sony confirmed that almost all UMD-based PSP games released after October 1, 2009, would be available for download, and that a majority of older UMD-only games would also be downloadable. Reviews of the PSP Go were mixed. It was mainly criticized for its initial pricing, with AR's Technica calling it way too expensive, and The Guardian stating that cost was the biggest issue facing the machine. And Gadget pointed out that the Go cost only $50 less than the PlayStation 3, which has a Blu-ray player. Wired pointed out that the older PSP 3000 model was cheaper, while supporting UMDs, and IGN stated that the price increase made it a hard sell. The placement of the analog stick next to the D-pad has also been criticized. Reviewers also commented on the change from a mini USB port to a proprietary port, making hardware and cables bought for previous models incompatible. The GOES screen was positively received by AR's Technica calling the image, brilliant, sharp and clear. T3 stated that, pictures and videos look great. The controls received mixed reviews, with the Times describing them as, instantly familiar, whereas CNET and Stuff called the position of the analog stick awkward. The ability to use a PS3 controller was praised by the New Zealand Herald, but AR's Technica criticized the need to connect the controller and go to a PS3 for initial setup. In February 2010, it was reported that Sony might relaunch the PSP Go due to the lack of consumer interest and poor sales. Sony began bundling it with 10 free downloadable games in June 2010. The same offer was made available in Australia in July. Three free games were offered for the PSP Go in America. 
Sony announced a price drop for the PSP Go in October 2010. On April 20, 2011, the manufacturer announced that the PSP Go would be discontinued outside of North America so that it could concentrate on the PlayStation Vita. Topic: <laughs> PSP Street E1000. Announced at Gamescom 2011, the PSP E1000 is a budget-focused model released across the PAL region on October 26 of that year. The E1000 does not feature Wi-Fi capability and has a matte charcoal black finish similar to the slim PlayStation 3. Also, it only features a mono speaker instead of the previous model's stereo speakers and lacks a microphone. An ice white version was released in PAL territories on July 20, 2012. Topic. Battery To make the unit slimmer, the capacity of the battery was reduced from 1,800 mAh to 1,200 mAh in the PSP 2000 and 3000 models. However, due to more efficient power use, the expected play time is the same. The old high-capacity batteries work on the newer models, for increased playing time, though the battery cover will not fit. The batteries take about 1.5 hours to charge and last roughly 4.5 to 7 hours depending on factors such as screen brightness settings, WLAN and volume levels. In March 2008, Sony released the Extended Life Battery Kit in Japan, which includes a bulkier 2200 mAh battery with a fitting cover. In Japan, the kit was sold with a specific cover color matching the many PSP variations available. The North American kit released in December 2008 came with two new covers, one black and one silver. Topic bundles and colors The PSP was sold in four main configurations that differed in which accessories are included. The base pack called the Core Pack in North America contained the console, a battery, and an AC adapter. This version was available at launch in Japan and released later in North America and Europe. Many limited editions of the PSP were bundled with accessories, games, or movies. Limited edition models began being released in Japan on September 12, 2007, North America and Europe on September 5, Australia on September 12, and the UK on October 26. The PSP 2000 was made available in piano back, ceramic white, ice silver, mint green, felicia blue, lavender purple, deep red, matte bronze, metallic blue and rose pink as standard colors, and had several special edition colored and finished consoles for games including Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core ice silver engraved, Star Ocean, First Departure felicia blue engraved, Gundam red gloss, matte black, and Monster Hunter Freedom gold silkscreened in Japan, Star Wars Darth Vader silkscreened, and God of War, Chains of Olympus, Kratos silkscreened in North America, The Simpsons, bright yellow with white buttons, analog and disc tray in Australia and New Zealand, and Spider-Man, red gloss, matte black in Europe. The PSP 3000 was made available in piano black, pearl white, mystic silver, radiant red, vibrant blue, spirited green, blossom pink, turquoise green, and lilac purple. The limited edition Big Boss Pack of Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker came in a camouflage pattern while the God of War, Ghost of Sparta bundle pack included a black and red two-toned PSP. The Dissidia 012 Final Fantasy Cosmos and Chaos Edition, released March 3, 2011, has an Amano artwork as the PSP's face plate. Peripherals <inaudible> 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 Official accessories for the console include an AC adapter, car adapter, headset, headphones with remote control, extended life 2200 mAh battery, battery charger, carrying case, accessories pouch and cleaning cloth, and system pouch and wrist strap, a one seg TV tuner peripheral model PSPS 310, designed specifically for the PSP 2000, was released in Japan on September 20, 2007. Sony sold a GPS accessory for the PSP 2000, which was released first in Japan and announced for the United States in 2008. It features maps on a UMD, and offers driving directions and city guides. After the discontinuation of PSP, the Chinese electronics company Lenking released a PSP to HDMI converter called the LKV 8000. The device is compatible with the PSP 2000, PSP 3000 and PSP Go. 
To overcome the problems of PSP games being displayed in a small window surrounded by a black border, the LKV-8000 featured a zoom button on the connector itself. A few other Chinese companies have released clones of this upscaler under different names, like the Pile PSP HD 42. The LKV-8000 and its variants have become popular among players and reviewers as the only means of playing and recording PSP gameplay on a large screen. Hardware The PlayStation Portable uses the common slab or candy bar form factor. The original measures approximately 6.7 by 2.9 by 0.9 inches 170 by 74 by 23 millimeters, and weighs 9.9 .9 ounces 280 grams. The front of the console is dominated by the system's 4.3-inch LCD screen, which is capable of 480 x 272 pixel video playback with 24-bit color, notably outperforming the Nintendo DS. Also on the front are the four PlayStation Face buttons, the directional pad, the analog nub, and several other buttons. In addition, the system includes two shoulder buttons and a USB 2.0 Mini B port on the top of the console and a WLAN switch and power cable input on the bottom. The back of the PSP features a read only UMD drive for movies and games, and a reader compatible with Sony's Memory Stick Duo flashcards is located on the left of the system. Other features include an ERTA compatible infrared port and a two pin docking connector, discontinued in PSP 2000 and later, built in stereo speakers and headphone port, and IEEE 802.11b Wi Fi for access to the Internet, ad hoc multiplayer gaming, and data transfer. The PSP uses one 333 MHz MIPS 32R 4000 based CPU, a GPU with 2 MB onboard VRAM running at 166 MHz. Megahertz, and includes 32 MB main RAM and 4 MB embedded DRAM in total. The hardware was originally forced to run more slowly than it was capable of and most games ran at 222 MHz. However, with firmware update 3.50 on May 31, 2007, Sony removed this limit and allowed new games to run at a full 333 MHz. The PSP is powered by an 1,800 mAh battery 1,200 mAh on the 2000 and 3000 models that will provide about 4 to 6 hours of gameplay, 4 to 5 hours of video playback, or 8 to 11 hours of audio playback. Software System software The PSP runs a custom operating system referred to as the system software, which can be updated over the Internet or by loading an update from a memory stick or UMD. The software cannot be downgraded. While system software updates can be used with consoles from any region, Sony recommends only downloading updates released for the model's region. System software updates have added features including a web browser, Adobe Flash support, additional codecs for images, audio and video, PlayStation 3 connectivity, and patches against security exploits, vulnerabilities and execution of homebrew programs. The most recent version is 6.61, released on January 15, 2015. Web browser The PSP Internet Browser is a version of the NetFront browser and came with the system via an update. The browser supports most common web technologies, such as HTTP cookies, forms, CSS and basic JavaScript. It features limited tabbed browsing, with a maximum of three tabs. Remote Play Remote Play allows the PSP to access many features of a PlayStation 3 console from a remote location using the PS3's WLAN capabilities, a home network, or the Internet. Features that can be used with Remote Play include viewing photos, listening to music and watching videos stored on the PS3 or connected USB devices. 
Additionally, Remote Play allows the PS3 to be turned on and off remotely and lets PSP to control audio playback from the PS3 to a home theater system. Although most of the PS3's capabilities are accessible with Remote Play, playback of DVDs, Blu-ray discs, PlayStation 2 games, most PlayStation 3 games and copy-protected files stored on the hard drive are not supported. Topic. VoIP access Starting with system software version 3.90, the PSP 2000, 3000 and Go can use the Skype VoIP service. Due to hardware constraints it is not possible to use the service on the PSP 1000. The service allows Skype calls to be made over Wi-Fi and, on the Go, over the Bluetooth modem. Users must purchase Skype credit in order to make telephone calls. Topic. Room for PlayStation Portable It was announced at Tokyo Game Show 2009 that a similar service to PlayStation Home, the PlayStation 3's online community-based service, was being developed for the PSP. Named Room, stylized R Infinity M, it was being beta tested in Japan from October 2009 to April 2010. It was able to be launched directly from the PlayStation Network section of the XMB. Just like in home, PSP owners would have been able to invite other PSP owners into their rooms to enjoy real-time communication. Development of Room halted on April 15, 2010, due to feedback from the community. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Digital Comics Reader. Sony partnered with publishers such as Rebellion Developments, Disney, IDW Publishing, Insomnia, Iverse, Marvel and Titan to release digitized comics on the PlayStation Store. The Digital Comics Reader application required PSP firmware 6.20, the PlayStation Store's comic section premiered in Japan on December 10, 2009, with licensed publishers ASCII Media Works, Enterbrain, Kodokawa, Kodansha, Shuisha, Shogakukan, Square Enix, SoftBank Creative, HQ Comics, Hakusensha, Bandai Visual, Fujimashobo, Futabasha and Bunkasha. It launched in the United States and English-speaking PAL countries on December 16, 2009, though the first issues of Alistair Arcane, Astro Boy, Movie Adaptation, Star Trek, Enterprise Experiment and Transformers, All Hail Megatron were made available as early as November 20 through limited-time PlayStation Network redeem codes. In early 2010 the application expanded to the German, French, Spanish and Italian languages. The choice of regional comic reader software is dictated by the PSP's firmware region, thus the Japanese comic reader will not display comics purchased from the European store, and vice versa. Sony shut down the digital comics service in September 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Games Demos and emulation In late 2004, PSP released demos like Duck in Water, World, Ball, Harmonic City and Luga City. Demos for commercial PSP games could be downloaded and booted directly from a memory stick. Demos were also sometimes issued in UMD format and mailed out or given to customers at retail outlets. In addition, several older PlayStation games were re-released and can be played on the PSP via emulation. Currently, the only official ways to access this feature are through the PlayStation Network service for PlayStation 3 PSP, PlayStation Vita, or PlayStation TV, or a PC. Emulation of the PSP is well developed. PPSSPP is currently the fastest and most compatible PSP emulator, it supports all major games. JPCSP was one of the earliest PSP emulators, it ran on Java. Notable games There were 1370 games released for the PSP over its 11-year lifespan. 
Launch games for PSP included Ape Escape on the Loose, North America, Europe, Japan, Darkstalkers Chronicle, The Chaos Tower, North America, Europe, Japan, Dynasty Warriors, All Regions, Lumens, North America, Europe, Japan, Metal Gear Acid, North America, Europe, Japan, Need for Speed, Underground Rivals, North America, Europe, Japan, NFL Street 2, Unleashed, North America, Europe, Ridge Racer, North America, Europe, Japan, Spider-Man 2, North North America, Europe, Japan, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, North America, Europe, Japan, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix, North America, Europe, Twisted Metal, Head On, North America, Europe, Untold Legends, Brotherhood of the Blade, North America, Europe, Japan, Wipeout Pure, All Regions, and World Tour Soccer, Challenge Edition, North America, Europe. Additionally, Gretzky NHL and NBA were North America exclusive launch titles. The best-selling PSP game is Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, which sold 7.6 million copies as of October 2015. Other top-selling PSP games include Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, Gran Turismo, and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Retro City Rampage DX, which was released in July 2016, was the final PSP game that was released. The best-rated PSP games on Metacritic are God of War, Ghost of Sparta, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories, and Daxter. While Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker is the only PSP game to receive a perfect score from Famitsu. During E3 2006, Sony Computer Entertainment America announced that the greatest hits range of budget titles were to be extended to the PSP system. On July 25, 2006, Sony C released the first batch of greatest hits titles. These titles included Ape Escape, On the Loose, ATV Offroad Fury, Blazon Trails, Hot Shots, Open Tea, Twisted Metal, Head On, and Wipeout Pure. The PSP Greatest Hits lineup consists of games that have sold 250,000 copies or more and have been out for nine months. PSP games in this lineup retail for $19.99 each. Downloadable games were limited to 1.8 GB, most likely to guarantee a potential UMD release. A section of the PlayStation Store is dedicated to minis, smaller, cheaper games available as download only. Topic: <laughs> Homebrew development and custom firmware. On June 15, 2005, hackers disassembled the code of the PSP and distributed it online. Initially the modified PSP allowed users to run custom code and a limited amount of protected software. These included custom-made PSP applications such as a calculator or file manager. Sony responded to this by repeatedly upgrading the software. Over time people were able to unlock the firmware and allow users to run more custom content and DRM-restricted software. One of the ways hackers were able to run protected software on the PSP was through the creation of ISO loaders which could load copies of UMD games from the memory stick. Custom firmware including the M33 custom firmware, Minimum Edition CFW and the Pro CFWL are also commonly seen in the PSP systems. Reception and sales The PSP received generally positive reviews soon after launch and most reviewers cited similar strengths and weaknesses. CNET awarded the system an 8.5 out of 10 and praised the console's powerful hardware and its multimedia capabilities while lamenting the lack of AA guard over the screen or over the reading surface of UMD cartridges. Engadget applauded the console's design, stating that, It is definitely one well-designed, slick little handheld. PC World commended Sony's decision to include built-in Wi-Fi capability, but criticized the lack of a web browser at launch and the glare and smudges that resulted from the console's shiny exterior. Most reviewers also praised the console's large and bright viewing screen and its audio and video playback capabilities. In 2008, Time listed the PSP as a gotta have travel gadget. Citing the console's movie selection, telecommunications capability and upcoming GPS functionality, the PlayStation Portable was initially seen as superior to the Nintendo DS when they first were revealed in early 2004, due to the designer's emphasis on the technical feats of the system. 
Nintendo of America president Reggie Phil Amy however focused on the experience aspect of the Nintendo DS. The DS started to pull ahead of the PSP early on due to drawing more third-party developers. The DS sold better in part due to the touchscreen, second display and wireless elements. By March 31, 2007, the PlayStation Portable had shipped 25.39 million units worldwide with 6.92 million in Asia, 9.58 million in North America, and 8.89 million Europe. In Europe, the PSP sold 4 million units in 2006 and 3.1 million in 2007 according to estimates by Electronic Arts. In 2007, the PSP sold 3.82 million units in the US according to the NPD Group and 3,022,659 in Japan according to Enterbrain. In 2008, the PSP sold 3,543,171 units in Japan, according to Enterbrain. In the United States, the PSP has sold 10.47 million units as of January 1, 2008, according to the NPD Group. In Japan, during the week of March 24-30, 2008, the PSP nearly outsold all the other game consoles combined with 129,986 units sold, some of which were bundled with Monster Hunter Portable 2nd G, which was the best-selling game in that week, according to Media Create. As of December 28, 2008, the PSP has sold 11,078,484 units in Japan, according to Enterbrain. In Europe, the PSP has sold 12 million units as of May 6, 2008, according to SCE Europe. In the United Kingdom, the PSP has sold 3.2 million units as of January 3, 2009, according to GFK Chart Track. From 2006 through the third quarter of 2010, PSP sold a total of 53 million units. In a 2009 interview, Peter Dillon, the senior vice president of marketing at Sony, said that piracy of video games was leading to lower sales than hoped. Despite being aimed at a different audience, the PSP competed directly with the Nintendo DS. Over the last few years of its life cycle, sales for the PSP started to decrease. The PSP sold 80 million fewer units than the Nintendo DS. Controversial advertising campaigns Sony admitted in late 2005 to hiring graffiti artists to spray paint advertisements for the PSP in seven major U.S. cities including New York City, Atlanta, Philadelphia and San Francisco. According to Sony, it was paying businesses and building owners for the right to spray paint their walls. A year later, Sony ran a poster campaign in England. One of the poster designs with the slogan, Take a running jump here was removed from a Manchester Piccadilly station tram platform due to concerns that it might encourage suicide. Later in 2006, news spread of a billboard advertisement released in the Netherlands which depicted a white woman holding a black woman by the jaw, saying, PlayStation Portable White is coming. Two similar advertisements existed, one had the two women facing each other on equal footing in fighting stances, while the other had the black woman in a dominant position on top of the white woman. Sony's stated purpose was to contrast the white and black versions of the PSP, but the ads were interpreted as racially charged. These ads were never released in the rest of the world, and were pulled from the Netherlands after the controversy. The advertisement gathered international press coverage. And Gadget noted that Sony may have hoped to capitalize on a PR firestorm. Sony came under scrutiny online in December 2006 for a guerrilla marketing campaign, with advertisers masquerading as young bloggers who desperately wanted a PSP. The site was created by advertising firm Zipatoni. See also Comparison of handheld game consoles Sony Ericsson Xperia Play equals equals notes